Hey there, uh, this is just going to be a really quick addendum to the animation uh, part that we just did. Uh, what I wanted to do is, I thought of something that could be really cool, is when the pieces are coming in, if they have like a, a different little squish effect where they were stretched on the x-axis and smooshed a little bit on the y-axis. So um, I wanted to implement that and just kind of show everybody how to do it and what it would look like. So I'm going to start with the dark green dot, and again, since I'm only going to be manipulating the scale, this is going to be an animation that I don't have to remake for everything, I just have to re-put it into the animation state machine. So uh, with my piece highlighted, I'm going to go to create new clip, and I'm going to call this um, landing, maybe? That sounds good. Uh, and in my landing here, I'm going to start recording, and for my baseline, I'm going to... Let's see, let's uh, start out with the X and the Y scale um, being one by one. Um, this is just only going to be like a half a second. I'm going to go to a half a second here and it's going to be, let's say, uh, 1.2 on X and then 0.8 on Y. Uh, let's see, that multiplies to be 0.96, so that's okay. And then... So there's what that squish looks like. Now I want to go to the curves again here, and I'm manipulating. Okay, so the blue line is Z. Um, the red and green lines are uh, X and Y. So up here, um, my Y is the one that is low, and my X is the one that's high. So I want to manipulate this just a little bit here in opposite directions. Let's just see what that does. All right, cool. That's a pretty good squish. Now, um, what I want to do really quickly in my animator uh, is I'm going to change it so that instead of this being just a random state and instead of having the uh, green piece idle be the default, I'm going to make landing be the default. So I'm going to uh, highlight landing, right click, set layer as default state, and I'm just going to reorganize my little state machine here a little bit. I'm going to drag my idle piece over, and I just want it to go into landing and then directly to idle. So I'm just going to make a transition, but I'm not going to put any uh, conditions on it. So it's just going to go entry, landing, idle, and then from idle to shine and back, and then any state to pop or squish. So my little landing state I'm just kind of throwing in there. And I've done this on these green ones really quickly here. I'm going to do it for the other ones that appear in my scene. And again, since I'm only manipulating the scale, I don't have to remake this. I can use the exact same one for all of these. So right now I'm looking at my uh, blue looking piece here. I'm going to pull in the landing animation. I'm going to right click it set it as default state, and then I'm going to make a transition from here to idle, and then that's all I have to do. Uh, same thing here. I'm going to zoom in, pull these over, bring in landing, uh, right click it, make it default, and transition from here to idle. And same thing with the orange. Okay, so now I want to make sure that I'm applying all of my changes here. So, okay, cool. And then this one, I just wanna go back to, all right, good. Okay, cool. Now, I'm gonna make sure that all my changes are applied across all of these, which it should anyway, because I was just changing the animation state machine but I just want to make sure that they're all applied anyway. Um, okay, cool. So now they all have that kind of landing squish. So let's, let's see what it looks like here. We won't see it right away because the board fills um, in back behind there. So if I click OK, they're all kind of already like this. But if I, so it's, yeah, that adds a lot more life. That looks real good. Cool. And I really like that um, kind of slide thing. I kind of don't like that sprite-based destruction animation. I kind of want to replace it with something that is um, a little more scale-oriented like these were. But I do still like the shine.
Okay, cool. So that's just a quick little addendum to the animation. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, leave your comments down below. Uh, otherwise, have yourselves a wonderful day.